Hey guys, it's Michael here. So, uh, you've been probably following some of my sawmill videos, and uh, since the last one I've built a little uh, power feed for my sawmill. Got kind of tired in the last two years of just pushing my sawmill through the log, and I uh, figured go this route, and I just kind of mixed matched some parts and found some pieces on eBay and built this little power feed. My idea with it was that I would just turn it on, forward direction, vary the speed, and walk next to the mill and cut through the log, but I got a little surprise to show you here. So this whole project got started a few months back when I stopped by a friend's house. He was cleaning out his garage and he had this golf caddy that he picked up from a garage sale for about five bucks. He had no real use for it, so he passed it on to me. I had been looking for a motor for the last few months as a power feed, and as soon as I saw this I realized exactly what I was going to use it for. After trying it out I realized the gearing was far too tall for a power feed for my mill, so I had to come up with some way to gear it down a bit. Here's all the pieces I'll be keeping from the golf caddy, the motor and gearbox. The resistor pack, the part with all the wires going into it, I will be replacing with a pulse width modulation controller a little bit later in the video. So I picked up this winch for about $20. It's got a 3.5 to 1 gear reduction. I'll be using this as a final drive for my gearbox. I ended up cutting off the outer lip of the pulley so I can mount a sprocket on there instead. The winch was actually fairly easy to mount to the gearbox, and I connected them with a roll pin. I ended up using a piece of copper tubing as a bushing to shim out the sprocket so it fit the winch. Here's a real simple bracket I end up building to mount the winch to the gearbox. These are chain tensioners I end up building to mount the chain to the track. Well, pretty happy about this. I got my motor mount for the gear, original gearbox mounted to the Harbor Freight winch. Got my little sprocket on here. Actually did some wrong calculations. I need a much bigger sprocket, about twice the diameter, closer to four inch rather than two inch. But I got one on order. And uh, anyways, I got my little pulse width modulation controller set up here. And this is one of the directions. And reverse. Hey guys, it's Michael here. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe to see more videos from me.